I've had a couple of glasses of wine, but I should be able to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when we went to Trio's for dinner on our first date. When you went to the restroom, I took a peek at the check to see how much you had spent on me. That was the one and only time I ever remember you paying for an $80 dinner. <laughs> <laughs> but it worked because here we are six and a half years later. As we move towards the future, I promise to continue leaving a never ending mess in my wake because I know how much you love that. And I will try to do the dishes more often and stack them correctly so they won't don't fall down. <laughs> I promise to keep buying dish towels that don't actually dry anything just because I think they're cute. I promise to try and finish the projects I start and to continue to go outside of our budget because life is simply more fun that way. <laughs> I'll love you forever. I want to die when you die. My life meant nothing until you used my toothbrush. <laughs> <laughs> because I like you, you know, in a romantical kind of way. And really, it's all any of us wants to find a nice person to hang out with until we drop dead. Not a lot to ask. Thank you for loving me with all of my quirks and consistencies and joining me on the continuous path of trying to be a better person than I was the day before. It's always better when traveling in with your best friend. <laughs> Kristen, I remember when we first met, uh, I was working at Radio Shack and you worked at the bank next door. I went to get change one day and had no idea I'd be meeting my future wife. But since that day, we've been spending our time building an awesome life together. I promise to, uh, to work with you to continue building that life. I promise to follow your lead to be a little bit better each day. I promise to continue singing the Gilmore Girls theme song instead of asking you how many times you've watched this episode. I promise to keep cleaning up the kitchen after you go on a cooking frenzy. And I promise to keep having the best movie marathons with you. Uh, another movie quote, in Moonlight Mile, JoJo said it best, you find your home. And it may not be what you thought. The color's off. <laughs> the color's off. The style's wrong. But it's there, and it, there it is anyway. And to hell with you if you can't take a joke. You find your home. You're my home. You're my home. <laughs> Thank you for being my home. <laughs>